a quick tip if you're replacing your water pump in your M112 V6 engine. This is a really easy job. I just love these engines, <laughs> changing water pumps, changing tensioners. If you're going to change the water pump, change the belt, change the pulley, and change the tensioner. This usually becomes a problem in the 100 to 120,000 mile range. You'll start to hear the water pump rumbling. And if you pull the belt off, you can find out very quickly which bearings are making the noise. But quite a few owners have run into a problem after replacing the water pump. They get in, they go down the road five miles, a check engine light comes on. What do you mean? How can I just get a check engine light by changing the water pump? Well, this is such a common problem. I thought I'd just shoot this short little video and show you what you want to look for. You'll need a code reader and get the code. A lot of times it's going to be a P0106 code. And it's related to the sensor, which is right here. So as with this car, you look around here and you want to make sure all the hoses are connected, all the plugs are in place because you have to remove this bracket here when you change the water pump. Well, what a lot of people miss is there's a hose connection right on the back side of this sensor and you cannot see that. So take the bracket off and you can see right here where the hose just broke off. It gets hot, it rots, you start pulling on this and that hose is going to break. So what I've done is I've got a hard line. I shorten the factory hose up, put a piece of vacuum hard line right in there and then I've added a piece of vacuum hose here. Now I'm going to cut the length and install it back on the end of this nipple on this sensor and we should be good to go. I absolutely know this is going to solve the problem and once I clear the codes I can just forget about it. Here you can see I've cut the rotten hose off the end of this little nipple here and I've shortened the new hose up to about an inch coming out of this cover. You don't have a lot of room to work on and you won't be able to have a very long hose here or it will kink and now I've got to plug that in before I put the bracket back in place. I would warn you that if you are planning to replace a water pump expect to probably have a problem with this. Due to the age and the heat close to this engine, you can expect some trouble with these vacuum hoses and I've even seen these hard lines crack. So give this a very thorough inspection before you remove it. And of course, any of these rubber vacuum hoses are hard, replace them. And if any of these show any signs of deterioration, replace these too. Because if you don't, you're going to end up getting a check engine light, if not immediately, sometime down the road.